It's my feel good breakfast show. Now, oh, we, we talk about the advantage that the Northern Hemisphere sides are going to have come Rugby World Cup under 10 days away. But what if we could take a bit of that home ground advantage with the Springboks so that every time they step out of their hotel, they touch a little bit of South Africa and get a bit of that feel good love from the Espresso team as well? Well, I think we've managed to pull it off. The hashtag Home Ground Advantage initiative has grown a special patch of grass which will go to the Rugby World Cup with the Springboks. They'll be able to step on home ground before they play and a few familiar faces were the first to help water the greenery. I'm excited to be part of the Home Ground Advantage campaign. It's awesome that we could have been the first to water this grass today even. Um, I'm, I'm just excited to support my country. I hope this patch of grass will show the players, you know, remain true to yourself, stay humble, stay grounded, because at the end of the day, you're playing for your country and we are so proud of you. Well, the home ground advantage means a lot to the, to the players. Uh, there's nothing better than going into a field and, and know that millions are behind you, the whole country's behind you. Any advantage that these guys can get is vital for them to feel like they've got the nation behind them, but moreover, that they've got their own little patch of South African soil to step on every morning to motivate them is something that is going to be hugely powerful to them as much as to us, the fans. So I think this is one of the best initiatives that I've seen. Having home ground advantage always gives you that extra edge. Um, it makes you feel more at home, more comfortable with the playing conditions. So given that we are in a foreign land, just having that piece of green grass there, I think home ground advantage is, is what it's going to be all about. The team selection raised a debate about diversity, as well as questions about the selection of uncapped Rudy Page ahead of more experienced players. Obviously there are questions being asked about some of the inexperienced players in the team. Um, as far as I'm concerned, the team's been chosen. The, coach and, the coaching staff have done their best to put forward the best 31 players that they could, and all we can do right now is give them our best support and really believe that they are going out there to play for the green and gold. I think this squad has the balance that we need, it's got experience, it's got some very young, exciting players, and maybe that X factor, this could be the World Cup that blows all of our minds, but I think South Africa has the right um, team, the right workforce to take there, and they've got the right mindset now, they need the country to get behind them. The Springboks' first match will be against Japan at the Rugby Showpiece, and the celebrity pundits have some interesting predictions. I think the first uh, game, the tactics will be Heineke giving all the injured guys a chance to, to get match fit, basically. I mean, surely. I mean, we are, we are the Springboks after all, and we do expect to beat Japan. I'm very excited. I think it will set the bar on how they're going to be playing as a team at the World Cup. But also against Japan, I think it's going to be an easy win. Score predictions for Japan. Are you kidding? I don't know. Um, we're going to win. 31-0. Japan, South Africa, first game. Let's go with a... Uh... 14-15. My first score prediction for the first game against Japan, it's going to be a walkover, I would say nothing under 60. I'm reckoning 30 plus at least for South Africa, probably about 37, maybe 40 odd. And if Japan get one point against us in that game, they're going to be lucky. We're going to trounce them. <laughs> go Boca! With the team declared fit and the grass ready to go, we need to get behind the Boca so they have their home ground advantage at this year's Rugby World Cup.